you know this is a heart because it looks like myocardium. And to prove that, we will show you that we have cells with striations and intercalated discs in which the nuclei are centrally located and relatively square. This is all classic for cardiac striated muscle. Um, can we find better striations for you if you're not 100% convinced yet? Well, I see some along here and perhaps you can also, these little cross striations. You can see the intercalated discs very nicely, can't you? Well, let's not lose the forest for the trees and just let's look at the overall picture again. We know this is all fairly nice myocardium. You know this is subpericardial fat because that's where you have all the large blood vessels. In addition, you have a pericardium out here. This pericardium looks a little thicker than it normally does. And in this area, it not only looks thicker, but it looks like it's kind of fibrosed or plastered directly onto the uh, myocardium there. So let's go a little bit deeper and try to figure out why. Well, it's inflamed. There's a lot of chronic inflammatory cells out here. There's a lot of proliferating blood vessels. So maybe it's organizing inflammation as well. But look, in addition, within these tiny vascular spaces, perhaps lymphatic vascular spaces, you see cells that certainly don't look like fibroblasts or lymphocytes like you see out here or endothelial cells like you see along the internal surface. They're big and dark and irregular, almost looking like glands. This is metastatic adenocarcinoma. And uh, this is metastatic adenocarcinoma to a pericardium. You know it can't be primary adenocarcinoma because uh, the pericardium doesn't have glandular structures. Here's a couple more cells out here. And as we uh, cruise along the surface of this pericardium now, I think your eye is becoming better and better for finding little tumor nests. Here's one out here. I don't think this is, but uh, if you do, I won't fight you too hard. Here we are along the pericardium again. All of the stuff here is organizing inflammation. Um, but perhaps it's inflamed <clears throat> secondary to the fact that every now and then you're going to see these little nests of tumor cells. And why don't you stop me when you see the next one? Because I haven't really seen any in a couple of miles yet. This could very easily be one. This could very easily be a little nest out here. But if you want to find some, and look at here's some cells out here, which are uh, macrophages that have chewed up some of the blood pigment or hemosiderin. And if you see any areas, however, where you're absolutely sure there are tumor cells, please stop me. Now we're in the area where the uh, pericardium was kind of plastered up against the myocardium. So the, maybe the reason for that is maybe there's more tumor nests out here. Sure enough, here's a large tumor nest, isn't there? Are your eyes becoming very, very good at picking up these cells? Perhaps. Here's a little nerve, isn't there? This is a nice wavy nerve pattern. All of these are Schwann cells surrounding axons. And do you want to find a couple of more tumor nests or do you want to go home and uh, kick back for a while? Well, let's find a couple more as long as we're in the neighborhood. We already saw this big uh, tumor nest out here. We already saw this nerve. Here's some myocardium. So the myocardium here is kind of fibrosed to the pericardium, isn't it? But you know what this is. Here's another tumor nest. Here's another tumor nest. And we're getting to the point where we really don't have to bl blow up to see big, dark, ugly nuclei because we already have a, a smell for these cells. But certainly on high power, you could see they are irregular glands with dark, lumpy, black, variable, malignant nuclei. Thank you very much.